Hey guys and welcome back to Clantastic Gaming. This is your host Star Lord and yes 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 we are getting a new legendary once again. As I showed in my last video I had a super magical chest opening going on and here we are with a brand new legendary. This is my third legendary in a quick succession. Before that I got Inferno Dragon from a super magical chest and then Sparky from a free chest. So before moving on, if you are new to the channel, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get notified for more stuff like this. Without further ado, let's see what we get. And it's a lumberjack. Okay, a good legendary, not so overpowered, but pairs well with the hog, balloon and a golem deck. And yes, I am still level 7 and still not be able to play the clan wars. As you can see my clan is playing, it is at number 4 in this current war. Hope I play soon. Moving on to my card collection. These are the 3 legendaries I was talking about. Inferno D, Lumberjack and Sparky. So for today's video, I am going to be playing this 2.6 elixir super fast hawk cycle deck. Shout out to my clan leader for giving me this deck. Although it was meta 2 seasons back but it still works for me in this trophy range. So, First let me brief you through all the cards and how they work and then we will play some live battles. So first of all we have Hog Rider which is the pretty obvious win condition. Second we have Musketeer because this is the only true we got to attack area units such as Lava Hound, Balloon, Minions. Second Skeletons, 1 Elixir, Super Fast Cycle. Then we have Fireball, a mandatory spell. Then we have Cannon for stuff like giants, hogs and then we have zap to kill skarmy, minions, goblin gang then we have these two cards, these two cards play a very prominent role in this deck uh, these both can be paired with hog rider and also can be used for defense like ice column can be used to pull knights, giant skeleton, pekka to other lanes and ice spirit obviously to freeze So. This is a deck and without wasting any further time, let's hop into some live battles. So for our first matchup, we are against someone whose name I can't pronounce. We have a good starting hand. Let's cycle skeletons in the back and see what he got. Still no answer from him. Let's go in for a hog rider. Giant Skeleton, okay. In these trophy ages, we face decks which are not meta. They are just random decks made by some people. And now look how, oh, wait, 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 wait. Prince incoming. Let's freeze it with the high spirit. Let's see, how fast cycle is this deck? Here? Now I'm back again to another Hawk Rider and a Cannon. Ah, oh, damn it. I think I went, I'm down a bit elixir. So let's wait for some moment. Oh, a baller. Let's go for another lane. Hope he puts scar me. I'm ready with zap. Oh. I hope I can fireball this. And yes, I can. Oops, I took a lot of damage, I took a lot of damage. That didn't go pretty well. So he has Giant Skeleton, Prince, Baller and I got only can oh, and a Lumberjack. Okay, not cool, not cool. See how fast cycling I am. I think I should go for the right tower. I hate this giant skeleton. Let's see how we counter it. Yes, I have zap and great. I got two hits. No, 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 no. Can I please target the prince?
I think I am okay. I think we will win it for sure. Yeah, it's going on pretty good. Time for okay. Yeah, we got this game. Let's put our good luck, good game, and a thumbs up, and finish the game. So pretty easy battle that was. We had a lot of tanks like Giant Skeleton, Baller, Prince, but we still managed to get a victory. And for the next matchup, we are against El Salvador. He is level 8. Okay, cool. Now we have a similar starting hand and he opens up with an Executioner. Let's put a Musketeer on the back and see what he got. I'm hoping a Hog Rider or a Giant. Uh, nothing. Yes. Skeletons. Okay, cool. And I think I should go with the Hog Rider. Anything to zap? Anything to zap? Nothing. Is he giving up? Why did it lag for a minute? Okay, I think I should fireball it. I think my phone space is low. <laughs> Anyways, we have a good starting in this match. We are still untouched on by towers. And he has a tower by 163. Okay. Let's pull the prince. Okay. Oh. My cell phone hand. Damn it. Anything to zap? Too late. I'm hoping he will go with Elite Barbarians again or maybe not let's see okay oh yes he is going with Elite Barbarians see Elite Barbarians are no match for this deck because it is so fast cycling we have skeletons we have a lot of stuff we can kill Elite Barbarians and I think I okay wait. Let's have this army here. And I think we are good. This match is going on pretty well so far. And As I said, a great bargain, sir. No match. And another good play. Let's give him a thumbs up and good luck for the rest of the ladder session. So, we clinch another victory and let's hop into another battle. And in hopes to keep the W's flowing, we are again back with another battle against Massacre Total. So he is going with the pump. I'm going with the fireball. And I think I should punish him. Let us call me. Cool, pretty cool start with the match. So he has a pump down and a tower down too. Not actually down, but with a low health. He is going with the baby dragon and let's put the ice column to distract the baby dragon. Okay. He is going with another bump. What's wrong with these bump placements? I think I should leave it. I was hoping for a hog rider but I think I should leave it. Hog. 
He's having to scar me. Oh, one scan. Okay, and he got a mirror. That would be pretty inter interesting. Okay, let's put a nice bullet. And a cannon. Let's kill the Dark Prince. Let's put the Ice Spirit to freeze all of them. And yeah, we're good, we're good. We're still untouched by our towers. And hope we still. Oh, another bad placement of pump. And we fireball it. I could go in with the hog and then fireball killing the scar me, but okay. He has no idea what he is doing. Okay, now he is coming with the infernal dragon. Let's go in with the hog. Hope he scar me. Oh, a packer. Okay, okay. Now. Let's put our cannon and hope. Okay, let's put the musketeer there and distract the baby dragon and kill Dark Prince with the ice column, which did not work. Let's put another cannon and fire all these chairs. Okay, so we defended pretty well. Let's go with the hog rider. And I okay, and a prediction fireball. Okay, so it worked out. I think he has no idea how he is playing. Okay, so now it is in the zap range. We can finish the match. Let's give him a good luck and a thumbs up. And let's finish it. So that was a pretty easy battle. He had good cards but he had no idea how to place them like he was placing pump in the middle and it was victory for us so let's move into one another battle before finishing up the video but this one was an easy one okay for the final battle of today's evening we are facing against martin i don't know how to pronounce this but whatever let's look at our starting hand and it is good starting hand let's okay so cycle our skeletons and this and this so we got no damage and go in with the hog rider and he's playing his baby dragon oh i wish i had my jab That would have been nasty. Oh, bad placement of musketeer. Baby dragon gets hit on my tower. But still, we have a full health musketeer. Okay, so uh, giant skeleton. I'm seeing a lot of giant skeleton these days in these trophy ranges. All right. We barely survived. We barely survived. I still don't have Zap, and he will have a scar me for my hog rider. Uh, let's okay. So he is going with the minion horde. I have my five already. See, I love this deck. Now I have Zap ready for the scar me. Place the scar me, place the scar me. Yes, there it is. And we miss one skeleton, but still we are good. And the hog gets a lot of hits on tower, as well as the musketeer. And this tower is almost down to nothing. Only 130 health. He will go giant skeleton. Okay. So he was hiding a surprise for us. That was a bit bad play by me. Let's go on with Hog Rider again. Hoping for Scar me. Oh, did you see that? The 
high school, I mean the giant skeleton and the barbarians literally block the hog rider. I think this would be a draw. He's going for a sneaky barrel. I have this, this and this. Let's fire boss of all these. And we are good. Yes, we are good. I'm going in for the hog rider. And hope he puts. He has Barbarian, Minion Horde and Scar me for my Hog Rider. I'm so happy I barely survived this match. This would be a draw. He played very good. He played very good. He had a ton of counters for my Hog. And let's go for, for, with our final push and hope we get something here. But no. As I said, he has a lot of contrast. Okay. Uh, good game, well played, and oh, he is angry. Let's give him a thumbs up. So, this was the final battle. We won three and we drew one, but we lost nothing. So, guys, this will be the end of today's video. This is the deck one more time. It's a good deck, it's a good cycle deck. It's good against hogs, it's good against beatdowns. It's a pretty much fun deck. So, if you liked my content, then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notified for more stuff like this. I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care and keep clashing.